Hi, my name is Arun Menon. I head the global delivery at J Global. Uh, today, I come to talk to you about uh, why do IT transformation projects succeed or fail. The idea of this video podcast emerged from a conversation with Amitabh Ramani, head of marketing at J Global, and we were talking about my experience of uh, 28 plus years in the IT services industry and my experience of ex- executing multiple IT transformation projects. And from the vantage point of being an IT service provider. So we thought let's create this video podcast with the help with the whole aim of trying to share some of the lessons learned some best practices that have helped so uh, so a lot has been written about um, what i call as traditional project management a great emphasis placed placed on the technical solution financial management timeline management scope management but one thing which i see commonly ignored uh, regularly is the people aspect so there are So one fundamental thing which we all need to understand is that uh, there are people who develop the system there are people who are the, who form the IT team of the customer side and there are people who are the end users of the system and then there is a there is a customer management team which is always waiting to get an ROI of the project um so in in my mind the whole process really starts from the buying process So while it is necessary to identify what is the technical and the business pain why we are doing the whole solution why we are doing the whole transformation project it's equally important to identify the stakeholders and why they are doing it what's their personal motivation to run this kind of project because it's very important that you understand and fulfill these kind of motivations which will ensure that the project really succeeds from all dimensions So you definitely as a successful project transformation project you need to cater to the business requirement the financial requirements uh, and and actually the fundamental ROI why it is happening but you also need to cater to these people uh, individual require motivation items which are there which i think are critical to success of a project So the other, other thing is no project is really successful if people do not use it right the whole intent of why you're doing this project is to give a better customer experience get a better make it life easier to do a business uh, make it more profitable um, and end of the day if you can't make people use the system uh, then there is a fundamental problem and there's a hence the whole idea of change management um, whether you whether the whole formal change management is done by the end user organization is done by the customer it organization or is done by the it service provider it really doesn't matter but the it service provider has a brand and a protection of its name which is required and it will and the value and the brand recognition will happen only if the project gets used by users and for that to happen it's important that the customer education happens the formal change management happens and that in, is the bottom line of having that perceived success or failure of the project so in any the coming to the whole execution aspect so there is there is a financial boundaries around which a project executes right um there is a technical alignment of solution but but more so there are always people uh, in the it organization the end user organization or even within the it service provider organization who are more like a naysayer or or could be a supporter so identification of these people who can become the headwinds uh in the process i think is very critical there is a so for all of this to succeed there is to be a maturity level of the organization of the end user organization now the you could as an it service provider you could do a maturity assessment and the maturity assessment is not to find gaps but it's more to so say that plug the gaps uh it's not fair to expect that the end user organization has done multiple of them it might so happen that there are people in that organization who have done and, and understand these kind of projects but understanding the maturity will help the it service provider organization to come in fill in the gaps understand what it will take to make the project across the boundary point and help in uh, doing whether you do the conference room pilots whether you do user acceptance testing or whether you help them define the requirements or understand the constraints of solution so because any time you do a transformation project there are uh, constraints and there are benefits and it is it's a matter of whether you have which one outweighs what see projects always have a defined budget now you could run the project as a time and material fixed price whichever way you look at it but the management of the 
end organization has a budget in mind and has an ROI in mind. Running the whole process uh, for an IT services company to run it like a CR factory and try to milk the customer, I don't think is a great idea. End of the day, um, executing the transformation project in spirit, uh, ensuring that we live up to that budget, we live up to that value which has been professed at the start of the project, I think is critical. So it's not only about the short-term gains and the short-term money you get, but it's also about the long-term brand, the long-term resonance of, of, your, of your name and brand and value with the customer. So for that, it is very equally important that you define the end state of the project, you define what is the acceptance criteria, where is the intermittent acceptance criteria, what is the um, the key burning points on the project, which is the key uh, pain points which are there, which will give you the maximum ROI. So identifying these from an end user perspective and the end user organization perspective or the wider organization perspective, I think is very, very critical. Um, the other thing which I see more often lacked is carrying along the ISV organization. So usually when you do a transformation project, you're putting in a lot of these Scots products and uh, you're putting SaaS products and you're implementing, you're integrating pl platforms, you're building some custom components. But in all of this, you are trying to take a company, uh, ISV's product and trying to integrate into a solution and come up with, a, with putting something in place. And, and it's very important that you carry them along because there are often, more than often that you will have to, you will need support, you will need their buy-in, you will need their active help to come work around some of those uh, showstoppers which will hit you. The lastly, which I believe is uh, one of the areas which is not so focused upon is data migration. Uh, data migration is not about, you know, where the boundaries cut from IT services company and say, um, you give me the clean data and I shall load it up. It's also about having the owners to see the picture end to end, helping the customer do the cleansing of the data, figuring out how much of historical data you want to keep, and setting that expectation, building the data integrity, building the data quality. Because it's also important that your system runs. There's a great amount of satisfaction and great amount of brand recognition and value if you see your system running without any troubles or issues from, for months and years down the line. It is, it is something, it is, I think it's very key and critical. As end users have to use the system, they need to have correct data into the system. And this is something which I believe, uh, it is very important that the SI or the IT services company does not create that boundary point and just leave it at that point. It's way beyond that. So transformation projects are not, uh, have to be executed in the spirit of it. Um, and there are people involved, there are softwares involved, there are third parties involved. And bringing all of them together, um, I think is key and critical and to actually ensuring the project succeeds. Everybody, it's a win-win situation with the, with the end customer or end management of the customer is realizing the ROI, users using the system and the IT services company also making money uh, in the process. And I think these are few few items which I thought I would like to bring back in front of you. Uh, which I believe are key um, uh, in any engagement uh, and the fundamental underlying factor if you are transparent, honest, you work with the customer, you walk, run, I think as an IT services company uh, you, are made, you will make the mark and these are the key I thought are key, uh, key points which I thought I should bring in front of you. I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions or learnings, we'll be very happy to engage with you. It's always a learning process um, and would, would equally be excited and eager to learn from you and your experiences. So do share your comments um, and uh, please do reach out to me and uh, thank you very much for listening to this video podcast. I appreciate it. Have a good day.